My friend! You're the only one I can trust. I must speak with you. Alone. I thought your plan was to poison him. It was. I stopped it. I got to the priest in time. Well, I don't understand. If you didn't send the assassin, who did? I don't know. But I can't help but notice who's benefited the most. Who's come out of this smelling like a rose? My uncle. How did he know the specifics of our plan? That we called it off? He has spies, surely. What if he's playing both sides? What if he warned the king of an attempt on his life? If we succeed in spite of this job done, Francis becomes king, and the duke benefits from his promise of a position at court. If we fail... Then the duke is the man who warned the king. He still benefits because he gains my father's trust. The only complication was our calling off the attempt. The duke's already warned the king. He looks like a hysterical fool if nothing happens. So he makes something happen. Sometimes to sell a pail of water, you start a fire. If this is true, then the king will listen to no one but the duke from now on. He was listening to me. Do you both realize how much danger you're in because of what you've done? The good news is we're both still alive. So Henry doesn't suspect us yet. But his paranoia is awakened. We'll never get another chance. Henry is untouchable now. God help us all.